Hello everyone. So today's video is on digestion. I'm going to show you some poses that will help you to relieve the symptoms of any kind of indigestion, gas, IBS, um, intolerance, or constipation, any kind of issues that you might be having in your tummy. So bring yourself to seated, bringing your left heel into your groin and the right foot in front. Inhale, extend your arms out towards the sky, palms above your head. And exhale, extend your arms out to the side, taking your left palm down onto the floor in line with your hip. And extend your right arm over your ear, lengthening your gaze out towards the sky, looking towards the shoulder, starting feeling the side, the right side, all your torso stretching. With your next exhalation, see so if you can bring your left elbow down to the floor without lifting the right knee or the hip off the floor. You can place a block underneath your elbow or just simply keep extending away from you. Lengthening the right arm, feeling the right side, all the torso starting to stretch you. Keep lengthening yourself away from the floor, keep opening up the chest. your next inhalation go ahead place your left finger tips onto the floor inhale lift your chest up exhale release down we're now going to take the left hand onto the right knee right arm behind us twist up towards your right shoulder lengthening yourself away from the floor just checking that you don't um, round your spine you push your belly button forward as much as you can and push yourself away from the floor looking towards the right shoulder a nice stretch here for the spine and gently with the exhalation, we're going to come back to the center. And now we're going to switch legs. Right heel in and the left foot in front. Inhale, extending your arms. Lengthen up, palms above your head. Exhale, extend your arms out to the side. This time we take the right hand down onto the floor and we extend the left arm over the ear. Lengthening out, starting to feel the left side of the torso stretching. With the exhalation, we bring the right arm elbow down, or perhaps just keep reaching the arm away from you, and keep lengthening that left arm away from you as well. Feeling a nice deep stretch this time on the left side of the torso, checking that you don't compress the spine, you don't drop the shoulder. You imagine a wall behind you, and you touch your spine to that invisible wall. Gently opening up, feeling the side of the torso stretching. Nice deep breaths. With the next inhalation, press your right fingertips onto the floor, bring yourself to the center. And now we're gonna take the right hand onto the left knee. Left hand behind us, go ahead once again. Twist yourself, looking towards the left shoulder. Keep opening up that chest. Keep lengthening the crown of the head. exhalation go ahead bring your hands in front of you we now go close the knees so that we can lift into all fours wrists underneath the shoulders knees underneath the hips inhale take your big button down towards the floor open up your chest length on the crown on the head exhale take your big button into your spine round your spine reaching into the chest pushing out inhale big button down we open up that chest Exhale, take your belly button into your spine, rounding your spine, your chin into the chest. Once again, please inhale, belly button down towards the floor, open up your chest and exhale, take your belly button into your spine, rounding your spine, your chin into the chest. And gently go ahead, come to the centre. Lengthen up onto your fingertips. We're going to take the right foot to the front of the mat. 90 degree angle, and we're going to push the hips forward, relaxing the left toes onto the floor. Left palm down, inhale, extend your right arm out towards the sky. Lengthen up yourself. Open up the spine, feel the twist. With the next exhalation, we take the right hand inside the right foot and we inhale, we take the left arm out towards the sky, opening up the chest again. Just try to push your left hip forward whilst you're giving yourself that stretch, lengthening the gaze out towards the left fingertips. And with the exhalation, we take the hand back down to the floor. So now we're going to lift the hands onto that right knee, opening up your chest a little bit more, feeling the back stretching here. Then we're going to take the palms into the chest and we're going to start rotating that spine, twisting, and we're going to take the left elbow outside the right knee, both palms touch. We twist here, lengthening that right shoulder towards the sky. 
Keep pushing the hips towards the front, checking that you don't sink onto your left, right shoulder. We push ourselves away from the floor, feeling a nice twist on the spine, a nice opening on the chest. And we're massaging the internal organs this way. Good. Wonderful. Gently we come back to the centre, we bring the palms down, then we're going to take the right foot back and then we're going to bring the left foot to the front. Pushing your belly button forward again, we want a 90 degree angle on that left knee. Right palm presses down, we inhale to take the left arm out towards the sky now, opening up that chest, lengthening out, keep pulling the left knee into your chest whilst you're opening the chest. Good. With the exhalation, we're bringing the left palm inside the left foot. We're going to inhale to take the right arm out towards the sky now. Keep opening up the chest while you're pushing your right hip forward. A nice stretch here. You can place a block underneath your hand if the floor feels too low for you. With the next exhalation, we're bringing the palm back down. We're going to take the hands onto the left knee, open up the chest. Lengthen out, and then we're going to take the palms into the chest, taking the right elbow now outside the left knee, lengthening ourselves away from the knee, and we open up the chest, we twist that spine, looking towards the shoulder, relax your left shoulder, let the right arm to do that push for you, feeling the stretch coming from your lower back, from your pelvis. going to bring the hands back down and we're going to take the left knee back both palms onto the floor underneath the shoulders inhale big button down towards the floor open up the chest lengthen the crown of the head exhale take your big button into your spine rounding your spine your chin into the chest gently bring yourself back to the center taking both palms towards the front a little bit more Tuck your toes under, inhale, lift the knees off the floor, exhale, push your chest into your knees, we bring ourselves into a downward facing dog, lengthening those hips up towards the sky, heels down, and we push ourselves away from the floor with the wrists, the ears are in line with the arms, we lengthen out, a nice stretch here for the legs, for the shoulders, very good. And gently from here, we're going to bring the knees down to the floor. We're going to sit the hips down onto the heels. Then from here, we're going to shift the hips down to the left so that we can bring the left foot, uh, sorry, the right foot outside the left knee. And we're going to interlace the fingers onto the knee. Push your belly button forward, open up that chest here. Good. We're going to keep the right hand on the right knee. Inhale, extending your left arm out towards the sky. Exhale, see if you can twist, taking that left arm outside your knee. And then see if you can take your right hand down and bring your palm facing to the side. A nice stretch here on your spine again. Gently go ahead, release yourself to come back to the centre. We're going to switch legs now. The right leg goes down, left foot on front, in front. Placing the foot down onto the floor firmly, um, interlacing the fingers onto the left knee. Now lengthen yourself up. Left hand stays on the left knee. Inhale, extending your right arm up. Exhale, go ahead, twist, rotating from your pelvis, taking that right arm outside the knee. Left hand behind you. Twist to look towards your left shoulder this time. And gently go ahead, bring yourself back to the centre. We're now going to take both feet to the front. Inhale, extend your arms out towards the sky, lengthen yourself up. Exhale, tilt down towards your thighs. Inhale, lengthen yourself, open up the chest. Exhale, tilt forward towards your thighs. Inhale, lengthen yourself up, open up the chest. 
exhale, tilt forward. Whilst you're reaching your chest forward, so you can start straightening your legs here, flexing your feet. Try and keep the spine tall, avoiding the roundness of the spine. Lengthen out, lengthen out, and then see if you can take your hands onto the feet or the ankles, or if you wish to still keep your knees slightly bent, bent you can do so. Holding onto your feet, lengthening forward, opening up that chest. Then gently from here, we're gonna take the right hand outside the left foot. Inhale, start taking your left arm on. Extend, 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 taking yourself into a twist. Then gently we switch, we take the hand down onto the foot and then we open up that chest, lengthen out, feeling the chest, that sort of twist coming from your pelvis, from your lower back again. And then we're going to cross the arms onto the feet and see if you can open up your chest a little bit more here and with the exhalation, take your chest a little bit lower, increasing the stretch on your hamstrings, the back gets a nice release. Nice deep breaths. And gently go ahead, roll to release the spine, bringing yourself back to the centre. Go ahead, bend your knees, inhale, extend the arms forward, coming into your boat pose. You can straighten your legs for the full boat if you wish to. You can have your hands behind your knees, whichever one you prefer. We hold it here for a couple more breaths here. Keep pushing the belly button forward nice and long. For the next exhalation, we're going to bend the knees and slowly from here, we're going to start rounding the spine to come down towards the foot, all the way down. Then when you're down here, we're going to pull the knees into the chest, interlace the fingers onto your knees. Just a few rocks here to soften the back on the floor. Good. Then now, take your hands onto your knees and one hand on each knee. Open your knees up high, allowing your spine to flatten down towards the floor, to soften down towards the floor. Good. And then gently, we're going to reach the hands inside the feet, one hand on each foot, and from inside the leg to the outside of the foot. And then we're going to see if we can take the soles of the feet towards the sky. This is called the happy baby pose. Um, you might see some babies doing this very happily for a reason, because it's also called a wind relieving pose. Good, so keep pushing your knees down towards the side, so your torso, soles of the feet towards the sky, feeling a nice, nice, nice stretch on your spine as well. Just check that your tailbone is not lifted. It also gives us a nice stretch on the hamstrings and on the hips. Good, you can be still or you could be moving your hips slightly again from side to side, rocking gently. Good. And gently go ahead, release your feet. And bring your feet down to the floor now, keeping your knees nice and apart. And allow your chest to drop down towards the floor. Then place your palms onto one another, a diamond shape. We bring the hands just above the head, allowing the chest to open out here as well. Just let yourself to be really relaxed here. Focusing on your breath and keep sending the breath into your abdomen, your chest and your throat. And when you exhale, empty your lungs completely and feel that breath when you inhale again, that it just fills up your tummy, your stomach, your diaphragm. And imagine the breath touching your lungs, touching your heart, touching your kidneys. Good. And then switch your hands, just the hand, other hand comes on top. And now imagine that breath going into your intestines and just feel that breath relaxing your whole body, releasing that tension you might be having around on your tummy area. Just let yourself to feel your body melting down towards the floor. Very good. And gently, with your next inhalation, close your knees. 
There we go, good. And once again, pull your knees into your chest. This time we're going to take the hands underneath the knees. Inhale, take your forehead to your knees, round your spine. Exhale, release your spine down towards the foot. On the next one, we're going to rock the spine to roll forward so that we can come back to seated position. Sitting nice and tall. Gently from here, take your hands onto your knees. Inhale, push your belly button forward. Arch your back, lengthen out. And exhale, take your belly button into your spine, round your spine, your chin into the chest. If you have any lower back issues, please avoid rounding on your spine. Inhale, push your belly button forward. Open up your chest, lengthen out. Exhale, taking your belly button into your spine, rounding your spine, your chin into the chest. One more time, please. Inhale, belly button forward, chest opens up, lengthening out. And exhale, rounding your spine, your chin into the chest, pushing all the way back. Good. Gently now from here, go ahead. Take your palms onto the floor, bring yourself back into all fours, wrists underneath the shoulders. This time we're going to have the toes together and knee knees apart. We're going to take the hips down to the heels and we're going to keep reaching those arms away from us into a child's pose. Feeling your hips dropping heavily towards your heels, feeling your tummy dropping towards the floor, feeling your chest relaxing down towards the floor, resting your forehead. Any knee issues, any hip issues, you can place a, block, um, a, a mat or a towel underneath your knees. Um, or you can place your palms onto your, underneath your forehead so that you're not going too low down towards the floor. Wherever you are, this time we focus on that breath, filling the spine, filling the rib cage. And when we breathe out, we feel the whole upper body dropping down towards the floor. Nice deep breath. back to our seated position very well done guys so breathing changes a lot of things in our bodies um, when we're stressed we forget to breathe when we forget to breathe the internal organs can't move freely so keep breathing keep sending a lot of breath into your abdomen and we all go through that discomfort of maybe not being able to go to the toilet or maybe having eaten too much or maybe like me you have um, intolerances where some foods are not good for you but you just eat without realizing or maybe without with, you know, knowingly because you don't have an option and then you just feel uncomfortable so um, don't let it stop you guys um, stay away from from stress obviously stay away from the bad foods but do as much as you and as you want lots of twists lots of hip openers chest openers and hopefully it will help you to release that tension thank you so much guys